Woods, going on everyone, Juice Bags here, and welcome back to some Dungeon Defenders 2. We got another tease yesterday for the upcoming Seas of Dragonfalls update for Dungeon Defenders 2. Uh, before we go any further, we don't know when it's coming, y'all. Uh, we're hoping it's going to be here by the end of March. However, we have no launch date yet, so no idea when it's going to get here. It will get here when it is finished. Now, to catch everyone up before we get into the new tease, uh, the Seas of Dragonfall update is going to be bringing two new maps, a new boss, and a new hero into Dungeon Defenders 2. Additionally, they're going to be adding in a Shard Vault tab. Now, the Shard Vault tab is not 100% confirmed yet. Uh, however, uh, it was told on live stream that it would be in the Seas of Dragonfall update if there wasn't any major issues that came up with it. Now, the shard tab will be something similar to the crafting material tab. Uh, it'll be another tab you can purchase to hold all your shards and, you know, try to eliminate stuff like this. So uh, that will be quite nice uh, to get that added into the game. Now, as far as the new hero, uh, she doesn't have a public name quite yet that I'm aware of. This is a quick look at what she looks like, though. Um, thematically it looks really cool, of course it matches perfectly with a C's type update, uh, super excited to see that. Now, we don't know much about this hero yet other than it is a polearm user, so this hero will be using polearms, and hopefully we get that super cool trident looking polearm, uh, added in as a new weapon in this next update. Now, in addition to that, the new hero will have some defenses. Uh, some were teased earlier. Uh, we've got things like this uh, little puffer fish here, which it's been confirmed. This is a 360 degree defense, so it's going to do something in a 360 degree area. We don't really have a whole lot more information on that one. Now, in addition, we are getting a new enemy with the new maps, and we've got these hammerhead looking guys rolling in. Uh, assuming this is like a Sharkin from Dungeon Defenders 1 and Dungeon Defenders Awaken. So that, of course, will uh, potentially be a counter for walls plus anything else, uh, considering Sharkin in those games will push walls out of the way. So something to keep an eye out for there for certain. And then we got the newest tease here yesterday, and this is lo a look at... A crab cannon is uh, what I am calling it right now, as it doesn't have uh, its official name yet. This is going to be a projectile firing defense. Uh, it's going to shoot a squid. Yep, you heard it. It's going to shoot a squid. Squid is going to go splat, and it's going to do oil and earth damage. So we're going to get that oil earth damage out of the squid. And it's also got something very brand new to Dungeon Defenders 2. And that is, it is going to hit any target, ground or flying, but it's going to prioritize flying enemies. So this is not necessarily a specific anti-air only tower, as it will hit uh, ground enemies as well. But it is going to prioritize flyers, which could change up some strategies, uh, assuming it does really well against those flyers. But that will do it for now. Just a little fresh tease. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments below. And as we get more information, I will keep you all posted. Um, tomorrow, of course, we've got another Chromatic stream. Uh, well, we're assuming that the Chromatic Wednesday stream will go off uh, tomorrow. So maybe we can get a little bit more news out of the Chromies tomorrow afternoon. But that will do it for now. Thanks a ton. And I will see you soon. Take it easy.